since we got these boards, uh, this one, then we got this one, uh, we always been thinking, okay, is it really possible to, through USB to record 32 channels and play back 32 channels. So we decided to do a little experiment, kind of not absolutely perfect, but some way to be able to evaluate if this thing really works. So what we did, I set up this unit X32 rack. I went to monitor function and I select the sine wave, generated the sine wave and recorded it into the Cubase uh, in one channel. Then what I did, I duplicate this channel into 32 tracks and send these 32 tracks through USB into X32 rack. Then from here, via one AES50 uh, connection through CAT5E, I send it to X32, reroute it back through another network cable back to X32 rack, and from here send it back to the, so the sound card, and from the sound card, all 32 channels back to digital audio workstation. So pretty much what the USB here was doing was processing 32 ins and 30, 32 hours simultaneously. There was sine wave recorded at the frequency of about 4K uh, for a minute. So that's what the entire picture we have over here. If you can look it up. So these are 32 ins and 32 outs. So we have plenty of these things over here with recorded sign. Again, this is digital, di digitally generated sign is not perfect. So if I will open one and make it like this, so it's a little bit squarish. It, I already stretched it that as far as I, like pretty far, 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 far enough. That's what the original wave would look like. So, but, uh, so pretty much if I took this and I compare it with this one, so why that's, that's the output and that's the input. These guys are exactly identical. So they are identical and we traced through as much as we could. It's like you cannot, I couldn't sit here and we'll go through every track or whatever. But I went through the whole thing and didn't see any distraction, uh, any jitter on this uh, line, sort of kind of squarish sign. Even though it's not really precise test, we, couldn't, we didn't really push that to, to figure out the limits and what's the level of distortion of the square, on the square and all these things. But at least in general, I have kind of assurance that at least this thing is not distorting that my event that I'm recording, whatever gig, it's actually going to do fairly okay without having, without having any obvious problems. So, so far I didn't notice any, but if I will, I will definitely let you know and maybe update you in the future webcast. So sign up for our channel, follow us and if I'll find something new, something interesting, I will definitely let you know.